Hi everybody and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So I'm sure you're seeing this way, way late. I just figured maybe it was time to just start filming even though I know I don't have internet. So like I said, it's probably going to be a really long time until you see this. But I have no internet, no nothing right now. But I have the ability to film. So I figured I would film a video because I felt weird not filming. But I, again, I don't know when this is going to go up because I just, I don't have internet. But um, this was my birthday October book haul. Um, you know I'm on my book buying ban, but I got books for my birthday because um, I allowed myself that cheat. I also um, got some books from my lovely husband. He, If you didn't follow me on Instagram, he took me on a birthday adventure. He took me someplace to get wine and an appetizer, and then he brought me to Barnes & Noble and told me I could spend $100. And then we went to dinner, and then we went to get ice cream. So... I have those books, I have book of the month books, and then my mom bought me a book for my birthday. So, let's just get started. Um, I'm going to start off with the book that my mom got me for my birthday. And that is the third illustrated edition of Harry Potter. So, um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I've already started flipping through this. This is gorgeous, as I expected it would be. Um, I had mentioned that I had wanted to buy it, but I was on my book buying ban, and my mom was like, buy it and I'll take care of it. So that's what I did. So I got it. Looking forward to a nice snowy day to read this one. Um, my three book of the month picks. Um, someone actually signed up so one of these books I didn't pay for. So really I only bought one extra. The book that I picked for my monthly um, pick was After the Eclipse by Sarah Perry and it's a mother's murder and a daughter's search and this is a memoir and like you know I've been trying to get into nonfiction, so I picked this one up um, I guess it's about this girl her mother gets murdered and just kind of her coping with it and dealing with it and I don't know it seems really interesting then I picked another book that was one of the book choices for the month what is on my video this is what happens when you teach elementary school. You have marker all over yourself and don't realize it till hours later. Um, so I picked another pick, uh, another book that was a the pick for this month. Whoa, that was a big tongue twister. And I picked up The Dark Lake by Sarah Bailey. This is supposed to be a thriller, like murder mystery. I guess something happens. Um, and this investigator, homicide detective comes to town and uh, there's like a body in a lake or something. I don't know. I just knew it was a thriller and I knew I had to pick this one up. I think this one was one of the popular ones that got picked this month. Um, and then the last one that I picked was just like part of their life from books we love section and that was Into Thin Air by John Krakauer. Um, probably said that wrong. This is also nonfiction, and it's about his journey through Everest, right? This is nonfiction? I think so. Yeah, narrative nonfiction. So anything that sounds like a story, I'm all for it, even though it, obviously it's nonfiction, but I also just thought this cover was fantastic. Look at that spine, too. It's gorgeous. All right. Um, so now I'll talk about the books that I bought for myself. This one does not count. I don't know how to not count this, but it doesn't count. Uh, I bought this book the next day after, so it was, like, actually on my birthday. Um, I had almost bought this book the night before when we were at Barnes & Noble because it was part of this, like, buy two, get the third free deal, but it was the only book on the table I wanted. So I passed it up, and I was like, oh, well, maybe another day. And I went, so we were at... Um, my town's like um, festival and then we went to the library because Patrick had to go to the bathroom so I went in and went downstairs to the library bookstore and I found it there for a dollar so I had to get it and that was What She Knew by Jilly Gilly I don't know McMillian McMillian that's not what it says McMillan another thriller about like this woman I guess she's walking in a park and her son goes, hey, can I run ahead? And she's like, sure. And then he goes missing. And, like, does the mom know more than she's leading on? We don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I had to pick this up. I've heard that this author is really fantastic. And so needed to get some more thrillers on my shelves. 
Then I um, guess I'll talk to you about the books that Patrick got me. So he goes, hey, you have $100 to spend in here. And I was like, this is fantastic. But I also knew that we had to go to get dinner soon. So I'm literally just like piling books, piling books, piling books in my arms. I put a couple books like back. Um, and then he goes, we just need to just go. And I was like... But I, like, was gonna, like, I was literally looking for, like, one more book. There's two books that I wanted that weren't even at this Barnes & Noble, and I don't understand why. But, um, I was like, let me just add up these totals, because I think I went over. And he goes, no, just grab them. And I was like, okay. And it's so funny, because I was convinced, if you actually follow me on Instagram, I said I went over by one book. I actually came under budget. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six books. Um... I thought I went over budget because it came to $145, and I was like, oh my god. And then I remembered the Harry Potter book was $40, and that didn't count because my mom was going to pay him back for it. And we got a Funko Pop that was on sale for $5. So I went under budget. How fantastic is that? I, like, couldn't believe it because I was like, oh, I went over. I'm so sorry. He goes, don't worry about it. And I was like, oh, wait, I didn't go over. I was really proud of myself, especially for just, like, grabbing and holding and I wasn't really paying attention to what I was spending so that was really exciting so the first book I got was Winter Solstice by Ellen Hildebrand this just came out October 3rd I was so excited it's the fourth and I want to say it's the final book in her Winter Street novel series it's the only one I have that's not signed but that's okay I was so excited to get this at first I couldn't find it and I was like oh my gosh how can they not have it and then they had it. So I got this one. Um, the two books that I wanted, um, but they didn't have. Well, actually, I realized after the fact that one book didn't come out yet, and that was, um, oh, shoot, the new Cynthia Handbook. But that doesn't come out till the end of the month, but Patrick said he'll buy it for me. And then um, the third book in the, um, I can't remember what the series is called, but that. I love how I'm pointing like you can see. It's too high. Um, the Abby Glines, like, under Friday, um, that's not what this is. Until Friday Night series, the third book just came out. And I was looking forward to getting that, and I didn't find it anywhere. Um, and then I want to say there was one more that I was looking for, and I couldn't find that one either. But then I also grabbed There's Someone in Your House by Stephanie Perkins. Again, if you've been following me on Instagram, you know I've already read this book. Um... I was, like, so hesitant. I almost bought this book as part of, like, my buy five, and then I didn't, and he ended up buying it for me anyway. So, um, more thoughts on this in a wrap-up, that's for sure. I finally grabbed Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo. I kind of really had no interest in this, and then the new covers came out, and they are absolutely Stunning. Like, I love these covers to pieces. And this series is a series that I was going to buy before we left um, our apartment when we went to Barnes & Noble to, like, buy. I wanted to go for one last time, and I ended up buying all those bargain books. I really went for this, and they didn't have it anywhere. So I'm really excited that I finally can try to start this series. If you have any thoughts on it, please let me know. Because um, I know I'm not the biggest fantasy reader, but I'm hoping I'll like this one. This one I'm really excited for, and I think Patrick might, I don't know, I keep saying this, but I don't know if he will read it or not, because he's got so many other books he needs to read, but Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grade, Grodden, Graydon. Um, this follows this girl, and she enters, like, in this, like, motorcycle race, I want to say, and, like, the winner gets to, she, like, gets to meet Hitler, and her plan is to kill Hitler, if I remember correctly, so... That sounds intriguing, and so I had to pick this up. It's been on my wish list forever, but I keep, like, putting other books in front of it, and then when I got there, I was like, okay, I've got to look for this book, and then I found the sequel, and I didn't find this one, but somehow it, like, ended up on the next shelf, and I was like, yes, they have it, so really excited for this one, and then I finally grabbed 2 by 2 by Nicholas Sparks. I've been putting it off and putting it off, but it's the last book I have to read of his. So, I finally got it. And then I grabbed The Summer House by Hannah McKinnon. Um, I really, really liked um, The Mystic Summer. I just bought Lake Season, so I figured I should add this to my list as well. So, that was a good find. <laughs> 
And then when it came to my cheat, I ended up getting six books by accident. I thought I put five in my cart and then I checked out and there was six. Don't tell anybody. Part of me has also given this a thought and I don't know if I'm going to let myself go with this, but if it's a sequel and it's a sequel that I plan on reading soon, like it's not a sequel that I'm like, oh, I'll get to it eventually, but I should just own it. Like, I'm not allowed to buy those. But I was thinking of letting myself buy sequels because it's so frustrating to know, like, a book might be coming out or, like, I'm ready for it and I don't have it. And every single one of these books is a sequel except one. So part of me was like, do I let myself just count the one and buy four more and the sequels don't count <laughs> or what? But... My thought was like, there's so many sequels and so many things like that that are coming out. Companion novels, I need them and I can't buy them. I can understand like not starting new series or starting new things like that. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just going to show you what I got. So I grabbed The um, Fallen Air by Aaron Watt. This is book four. Um, but this follows a different character from um, Paper Princess. It follows another brother. I don't really want to say too much because it kind of is a companion series, kind of the next book. Um, but I'm really looking forward to getting into these books. Um, this one is, um, this is a series that I feel like gets labeled as YA, but I would never consider it YA. I actually consider it a more new adult novel style. Um, so it's kind of one of those like guilty pleasure reads at this point. So I'm really looking forward to picking this up. This one also just got released very recently. Um, I grabbed Burning Moon by Joe Watson. This is the first book in a series. This is not the one I was talking about, though, because I have book two and I read book two. I have book three that I haven't read, but I was like, I need to read the first one first, I feel like, before I get to the third one and completely spoil myself for everything. So they're companion novels, but I figured it wouldn't hurt. They follow like three friends and they all kind of go through things to meet a significant other. So each book follows a different friend. So I grabbed this one. I grabbed Jennifer Probst's All or Nothing at All. And I believe this one also just got released recently. This is the third and I want to say final book in um, the... Billionaire Builder series. I read her Marriage to a Billionaire series. I've read her Searching for a series and then this is her other series and this is the only one I have left to read and I believe this one also just came out either this summer or really recently anyway so I've been looking forward to getting my hands on this one and I love this cover so much. The other sequel that I got was The Winter Wedding Plan by Olivia Miles. I read the first book in this series over the summer on one of my, like, 24-hour readathons. Um, the first book is One Week Till the Wedding, and I loved it so much, and so I was really excited. This one also just came out in, like, October. Must be this trend that's going around, but I was really looking forward to getting this, so I was really excited that for my book buying Banshee, I was able to get it. Another sequel I got was A Million Little Things by Susan Mallory. This is the third book in the Girls of Mischief Bay series. Um, this one also just came out like summertime-ish. Um, so obviously another one that I wanted to get to. I read book one last year. Kind of put me slumpy-ish. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. And then I got book two and I really enjoyed book two. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this one's like. They're also companion novels following a bunch of different friends in this town. So I'm looking forward to this one. And then the last book that I have to share with you, and it is not a sequel, is Palm South University <laughs> Season 1 box set um, by Candy Steiner. Um, I found this on Peace Love, Peace Love Books. Did I say her name right? Peace Love Books. I feel like there's another Peace Love Chick. No, no that's not it. Peace Love. <laughs> I think it's Peace Love Books. I don't know why... I'm blanking on it, but I saw this on her channel. I think she read it as a like ebook, and the ebook cover is way more nicer than not nicer than this. This just like freaks me out slightly. Um, the ebook is like a girl, and it like makes it look nice, and then all the hard covers, like hard physical copies, look like this. And 
I don't know, I'm not one for abs down the cover. Yeah, but this follows a university. It kind of is like a, supposed to be like a reality show, and it follows these friends that are going through college. It's I feel like it's like the hills, but college in Florida. <laughs> not the hills. I compared it to Laguna Beach. That's what I compared it to when I first thought about it. Um, I mean, yeah, this just seems like it will be a fun, fast read. I mean, the font is ginormous, and I'm looking forward to trying this. We'll see how it goes. But this is, spine is fun and the back is fun, so we'll see. So that's my haul. If you have any thoughts about any of these books, please let me know. I'm hoping I can upload this very soon.